This is an old vintage blowtorch. It's a kerosene powered blowtorch. So you pour paraffin in and you pump it up and it produces a flame. The trouble is with these things, they're very old and the seals tend to tend to become brittle and break over time because they're made of leather. As you can see, this is a new one. Now, that's the old one. Look how broken and bitsy it is. It's completely irrecoverable. So, what I've done is I've 3D printed a tool that makes these pump cups. And as you can see, I've used an old shoe to get the leather to form that pump cup. Any leather will do. Um, I just happen to have this shoe lying around. You need to soak the leather overnight in some water. And this is the 3D printed part. As you can see, it's a very simple cylinder with a smaller cylinder inside. The difference between them is the thickness of this piece of leather, which is a regular sort of sized sort of tongue thickness on a shoe, whichever that might be. But as you can see, you just push it down into the leather and give it some pressure. So I've got it here in a vise, and as you can see, I've got it about that deep into the into the tube. And once once I've left that to dry, all I'm going to do is score around it with a Stanley knife to cut it clean off. Now it's dried overnight, and here it is. So. It's a very simple thing. As you can see, we would put a hole in this end here to affix it to the pump shaft. Now, that's all it is. It's really, really very simple. If you want to download this part, you can just download it from the Thingiverse account and it's free. But to get this going, there's a few more things I need to do. Now, it pumps just fine. It's beautiful, actually. Um, but something's preventing that that pressure from being released now these things tend to get gummed up over time and luckily all the parts are really accessible you may find in this tube here some rock wool or some carbon felt or something else it's just to try and prevent any kind of it's a filter really and we need to make a tool and this will become more apparent later so, the, the blowtorch has been stripped down a little bit, but do you see this part here? That part tends to get gummed up. It's a tiny little hole, and it tends to get little bits of debris and things stuck into it. And we can't access it by using a spanner or a pair of pliers, because it's, it's too hard to get there. And that's why we need this, a special tool. It's just a bolt with a little notch cut into it. So it's quite a simple thing to make. And without a lot of pressure, you can find that this will just turn easily, just by hand. As you can see, it's been cleaned up, and I've put a little bit of um, magnet wire through that tiny little hole just to clean out the debris. Now it's completely free, ready to go back in. But what we need to do next is fill it with kerosene, or paraffin, as it's known in the UK. Now this stuff, it, it isn't really very flammable until you have it in a mist. It needs to vaporize. So to get this thing started, we need to heat this, th this up. Once it's started, it works fantastically well. And what I'm actually using this for is to scorch some wood that I'm making into a table and a shelf. So as you can see, I'm just slightly scorching the grain of the wood to give it that really nice definition. 
I mean, if we're antiquing things, why not antique them with antique tools? Look how beautiful that is. And look at what it's... Look at the quality of the work it's giving. So with a bit of epoxy resin later, to give it that beautiful glass finish, that tabletop finish, it's, uh, as you can see, it's coming along. Now, epoxy resin self-levels to a certain extent, so it'll look a lot better once this is dried. And here we are, look at this. Not bad for some planks of wood and an old vintage torch. 